I'm Buck. No, literally, I am. Terminator Genesis is a film that I wasn't really planning on seeing, to be honest. I wanted to see it because, of course, I've been the first two Terminator films, which are the only two that exist in the timeline, in my opinion. Two, three, and four don't exist to me, really. Those those two films suck balls. On Genesis, 1984 is alternate. The timeline is completely different. Kai Reeves go back to 1984. Before he knew it was alternate, he found out that Sarah Connor is already tough. She's a BA. She's Sarah Connor from T2. And it's like, what? Like, what's going on? And to be honest, I had that same reaction when I first saw that. I wasn't, I wasn't surprised when I first saw it because they freaking spoiled all that stuff in the trailer, which I'm about to get to right here. The marketing freaking spoiled spoiled most of the action scenes and the twist which is John Connor is a Terminator which is so stupid why did they do that why I mean uh, I mean I, like I said now I'm starting not to see trailers no more for films and it starts to spoil every freaking detail and plot in the entire film it's like the, the, the trailer now spoiled the whole movie so might as well watch the trailer still go see the movie that's what freaking wrong is Hollywood these days. By the way, look at the look at the poster for Terminator Genesis. That is a terrible freaking poster. It looks so Photoshop and fake. Looks like something off of DefineArt.com. I mean, it looks so stupid, freaking fan made. Okay, double my rant. Back to the review. You know, to sum up what I think of Genesis, this movie is meh. That's what all it is. It's it's a meh film. I mean, I was expecting a lot of stuff from the trailers and from the poster. So yeah, despite me seeing the trailer and the poster, I still had high hopes for this film. And yeah, this movie is, is mediocre. It really is. I mean, the only good thing is I say about this movie is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Abominator. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, Arnold never disappoints as a Terminator. He's still great, still pining out those one-liners. Emilia Clarke as Sarah Connor. Okay, I like her in Game of Thrones. I really, really do. But just her as Sarah Connor, it's like, really? Are you going to Comic Con? You, you just, you cosplay Sarah Connor? Really? Really, Emilia Clarke? Really? You look like you're about to go to a tea party or a Sweet Sixteen. I mean. <sighs> I mean, was she trying to be tough, trying to imitate Linda Hamilton? It's just, it's, I'm just laughing, like, okay, you're not Linda Hamilton, chick. You're not Linda Hamilton. And Jai Courtney, who is getting a lot of critics, criticism for him being Kyrie's. Okay, I'll hate him as an actor. Of course, he wasn't as good in A Good Day to Die Hard. Or him and Divergent, which I've never been of. But him as Kyle Reese. Uh, uh, he's okay, but I don't hate him. Of course, Michael Bean will always be Kyle Reese. He will always be Kyle Reese. And really, really, what what these actors are trying to do, uh, Emilia Clark and Jai Courtney, they're trying to imitate Sir, uh, Linda Hamilton and Michael Bean. They're trying to imitate these roles. And really, you just kind of sit here like, you're not them, people. You're not them. Would you try to do cosplay, go to Comic Con or some other convention? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of laughable when you think about it. If there's some things that I truly hated about this film, it's that they tried to recreate the first scene from the original Terminator when Arnold finally comes to present day to destroy Sarah Connor. And really, that scene right there, just, I'm just like this. I really want to watch the first film right now. I really want to watch the first film on the big screen if I was in 1984. And also, the, the timeline, like, screwed up. I mean, now, these two films don't matter. Like, like those two don't matter no more. We start our own new franchise, fresh and new. Why you want to screw us up so Perfect. It's so great. I mean, now the first two movies don't matter. John Connor now a Terminator. It's like, oh my goodness. Now it's starting like its own trilogy. Now like our own Terminator. Trilogy. Like, screw that. Screw that. I hope that gets scrapped out. I really do. Really hope that gets scrapped out. Really do. Cause I don't really re don't really want to see another Terminator film. To be honest. The first two films are great on its own. Those are the only films I think that exist that really matters. This film don't matter as far as timeline. As far as film, actually. 
I, th I really think this is an unnecessary movie, to be honest. I really think this movie is very unnecessary, very unneeded. I'm really... <sighs> calm down, calm down. Just a movie, just a movie. <sighs> that could be just cut out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Really, I can't really say anything that great about this film. I mean, it's very confusing. It's such a mess, even as a standalone film. I mean, it's still not really that good. It's not that good. You go to Blu-ray, you go to On Demand, you go to Netflix, Voodoo, online. I mean, you don't really have to rush out and see this movie like, Oh, you gotta go see Terminator Genesis. No. This movie is no need to rush out. If you're a fan of the original two Terminator films, I mean, you can, yeah. Go for it. I mean, but still. I mean, you just wait for online. Wait for Blu-ray, Voodoo, On Demand. I mean, you don't have to rush out to see it. If you want to, okay. I'm giving Terminator Genesis a C-. minus. If you did not notice, my picture quality is much better because I have an iPhone 6. Because I recently recorded my phone on an iPhone 4 because the quality on that is not as good as this. I'm glad because now my picture quality is now perfect HD 1080p. If it is 1080p, I'm not sure. It's probably 720p. Whatever. But thanks so much for watching, guys. What do you think of Terminator Genesis down below? Like it, hate it, think it's okay, man. It's a mad film. Really is. But like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.